Hi everyone, Bob is in the house. Welcome to this incredible show uh, claimed only by me. But anyway, I'm really happy to be back to be honest. I'm re I really missed you guys and I really missed to be doing this. Uh, it's been only one week, but I was supposed to, you know, release a video on Friday already. I haven't done it because of the exams. You know, this week was rough. Uh, but now when it's over, Let's get into music, goddamn, because I've been waiting for <laughs> finally listening to this new Jonas Brothers song. I've been waiting to listen to this new Two Chains album. I've been waiting to listen to this new Selena Gomez and J Balvin joined with Benny Blanco and some other random dude. Well, I don't know. <laughs> so, but let's get into quote of the day. Uh, our quote of the day is uh, by Jonas Brothers themselves. They said in their song. Once in a while, back in 2009, uh, the song was called Turn Right. So they said, turn right to my arms. Turn right, you won't be alone. You might fall off this track sometimes. Hope to see you at the finish line. I still hope to see you at the finish line. You know what I mean? Like, you might get... But anyway, <laughs> let's go. <laughs> Ariana Grande was spotted with Big Sean. Thought I'd end up with Sean, but he wasn't a match. Lies! Lies all over this world! <laughs> Lies! You lied! <laughs> Why? <laughs> no, seriously, I mean, okay, she thought, right? She thought that uh, it's not. It's not gonna happen with Big Sean, you know, they were broken up a long time ago and she had multiple partners after Big Sean, but now apparently they are working on new material together in the studio together. I don't know what, is it like, you know, connecting bonds? Like, is it, is it this matter or not? Or is it just like professional actual work? But rumors has been said, of course, that Big Sean and Ariana Grande probably are getting together and it's really difficult <laughs> to be Arianator Ariana Ariana Arianator it's just because I kind of relate myself to Ariana Grande to, to be Ariana Grande fan too because like I like her music and I don't find herself bad in terms of like she's a, she's a good person in my opinion in terms of personal choices mm, not very clear <laughs> in that regard but uh that's the news <laughs> for today honestly because we have to move on for the music with bob community's best song uh, and there are a lot to talk about so Let's move on quickly, quickly, because this video cannot be 30, 40 minutes, all right? This is just a single video reaction. Okay, I'm ready to present what has been changed in our uh, Music with Bob community's top 10 songs list of 2019. Uh, basically, this is the old list you're seeing right now. Uh, the changes have not been made yet to this list, uh, you know, according to this picture. Uh, but let's discuss what has been changed and then I will uh, reveal what has been changed, right? So I asked you guys um, <clears throat> Which song should be in our top 10 of 2019? And uh, the choices were Post Malone's Wow, Ali Brook, Low Key featuring Tiger, pretty good song too Kilani Nights Like This featuring Tiger Dollar Sign uh, Lil Pump Be Like Me <laughs> featuring Lil Wayne And the other choice was None of these songs deserve to be in our top 10 and that was essentially one 
the deal. Um, yeah, so no additions in terms of uh, you know songs in our uh, list according to this week, but I'm pretty sure next week we're gonna see changes because uh, oh boy, <laughs> this uh, week is probably have been one of the most bombastic in terms of new releases, so many new songs, uh, even many new many albums dropped this uh, week. So you know, like this Friday. So damn, like I'm expecting changes for sure. But my next next question, next poll. By the way, if you want to participate in this, I forgot to tell you. Uh, if you're not seeing this on your YouTube feed, uh, you can always go to my channel, go to community, community section, and you will see all these kind of polls I, I'm I'm having. All right, uh, that's how I determine what I should change uh, in the list and what my uh, viewers are listening to and stuff like that. This is how I engage with my uh, subscribers. But don't be shy to comment below, of course, what you want to see in top 10, what songs you would like to see in top 10. We would definitely would like to uh, read it, uh, like it, if we like it, you know, we would definitely like it, upload it, and, you know, it's going to be revealed here for sure. Uh, the other poll was um, was that like, let's decide which song should go top five, uh, you know, <clears throat> of our list and, um, you know, I showed you guys the bottom five from six to ten, uh, and it was J. Cole, Smith the Child, Ariana Grande's Seven Rings, Zed and Katy Perry's uh, 365, The Weeknd and uh, Geza Felstein, or Geza Felstein, Lost in the Fire, and Billie Eilish, Bury a Friend. Now, all five songs are incredible. They're really strong songs. I actually would say uh, the first five, in my opinion, now I look, I look at it, they're kind of weaker, <laughs> to be honest, like for my taste at least, than the bottom five. Um, yeah, the bottom five, they look strong in my opinion. Um, but um, one song that was chosen was that and Katy Perry's 365. And I actually agree a lot because uh, while all five songs, I like them all, and uh, my second choice was actually Seven Rings as well. Seven Rings, I would say, uh, one of my favorite songs in 2019, to be honest, because I love that jam. But uh, you have to give credit for Zed and Katy Perry for the fact that they actually brought into mainstream, finally, again, great pop songs. Some, uh, recently, we haven't been seeing a lot of great pop songs, you know, we back in the day we used to get much more great uh, pop classics. Now, not many. You know, all of them, um, not all of them, but like majority of them now are, uh, contain, uh, you know, hip hop influences or even rap songs themselves are a new pop pretty much in this day and age. So I like the fact that Zed and Katy Perry didn't use hip hop sound. You know, for example, Ariana Grande's Seven Rings is also trap influenced hip hop you know i like it i like it but back in the day it was used to be great hip hop and great pop now it's great hip hop and lack of pop decent great pop in my opinion so I, i'm glad that um you guys chose this song because it definitely deserves to be up there um we need to cherish the song it deserves all the praise um and Oh, that's pretty much it, actually. So that's uh, that's the changes now. <laughs> so uh, now we see that um, track one, uh, number one position, number two, number three, they're the same. You know, Kaigo's song is still number one. Um, but then the change has been uh, made at the top four. Uh, I'm sorry, the position four, Zed and Katy Perry's song 365, as we chose together guys is at number four now is in top five you know in it um so that's why cupcake song uh lowered down cupcake squeaver nose is there because i chose it initially i really like that song it's a funny song listen to it if you haven't um then james blake smiles high also lowered down to, to one position seven rings is same is still at the same position because you guys uh you know <clears throat> chose it above middle child so i thought you know middle child should uh, from the number from position six should go to position eight because 
if you guys found that found that seven rings are better than middle child then of course seven rings should be above middle child so and then you also guys show me that Billie Eilish song is a little bit more valuable to you guys than the weekend song at this point so that's why i um you know raised Billie Eilish at, to number nine instead of te to, uh, number ten and now the weekend song is at number ten so those are the changes those are the changes this is our list don't be afraid uh to make additions to it if you want to see the song that you really like and listening to right now like you really want to you know see it here definitely definitely comment below uh there was there was one guy actually who suggested to um under one of the, the polls actually um the clean bandit song with ellie goulding uh, it's called mama and i reacted to this song before um yes as you see uh, when i was doing the album reaction mama is a good song um the reason i it didn't end up in the top 10 is because you know it was just uh, one comment um if you want to see that song let, uh here's the poll right now uh, if you want to see it in top 10 let me know yes or no if it's yes next week clean bandit and ellie goulding will end up in this list all right and last thing <laughs> Number one position. Should it be Kaigo? Should it still be Kaigo? Or we gotta find new number one position? What do you guys think? Let me know. All right, thank you so much for patience. Now let's go and finally watch Jonas Brothers new song, Soccer. I'm ready for it. Let's go. Okay. Oh, that's Joe, right? <laughs> by the way, by the way, uh, so Jonas Brothers, I haven't watched this TV show back in the day, but my sister uh, used to watch Disney Channel a lot, and uh, you know, I've, I was going when I was uh, coming across the rooms, let's say, and when she was watching, I've, I've seen this dude, all right, but I've, I haven't really following. I mean, I have not been following this uh, TV show, but I know who is who. I mean, Nick Jonas and Joe Jonas are already established uh, pop stars at this point. You know, Joe Jonas has his own uh, band, DNCE. Uh, only one person I don't really care for is Kevin. Uh, I don't know what he's doing, but you know, this is really cool. I, I'm glad to see them together. I like the instrumental. Oh, here's Kevin. Woo! Hey, hey, hey. Priyanka Chopra. Hey, hey, hey. It's interesting that they all have, um, you know, either wives or girlfriends they are all presented here in this video uh, it's really cool that you know uh, you seeing them you know this the, the, that TV show teenage TV show you know they they were caring about uh, girls at that point I remember like all girls used to like ah like Jonas Brothers you know uh, follow them in every route but now they actually have you know uh, their um, wives were girlfriend which is cool it's been goddamn 10 years imagine that hey i like the song actually it's really fun and the video is uh high budgeted high budgeted for sure and uh looks real good sucker for you I gotta turn this up, I'm not fully immersed into the song because it's not loud enough yet. Hey, I'm a sucker for you. Mm. 
yes. Ooh, Priyanka Chopra. <laughs> so fire. Hey, hey. Kings, <laughs> kings, all hell, <laughs> kings. Oh, and there, damn, that's a portrait. That's a damn good portrait to have. Yeah, that was fire. Actually, I, I'm not. I wasn't really like hyped up in the video. You know, I was just paying attention to the video. Um, you know, my reaction wasn't like high hyped. You know, as usual, I guess. But that doesn't mean that. I didn't enjoy it because I did a lot. Uh, I'm seeing myself actually listen to this song a lot, even though I'm, I wasn't Jonas Brothers fan necessarily. You know, I wasn't really paying attention to what they were doing or like I haven't been watching their show back in the day. But uh, since they're you know s uh, split, let's say uh, Nick Jonas was doing incredibly well. You know, his songs "Jealous," for example, right? uh with or uh, close with top glow you know other his solo stuff has been pretty good uh when it comes to joe jonas i like um you know some of the dnc tracks and uh even their album actually uh, they were pretty it, it was good you know it was really good and uh, i really like that vibe i actually seen seen them live actually i just realized uh back in 2017 when they were in san diego uh so yeah bro like um, I I kind of I I know about them at least you know so uh, only only person as I said Kevin I wasn't sure and even here like I didn't see him like they didn't show him like singing let me know in the comments what Kevin brings to the table when it comes to music at least uh, of Jonas Brothers I want to know because I I don't really know what he does to be honest um, but yeah I really like the song. I would give it 8 out of 10 for sure, like no doubt about that, about that. and uh, I've seen that the song uh, has gained incredible popularity already in one day, it has 30 million uh, views on YouTube, number one song in the goddamn United States, uh, and yeah bro, things have been, uh, things are looking good for Jonas Brothers, and I'm just looking forward to see more material from them. That's it. Hit the like button if you like this video. Subscribe to this channel. Uh, comment below your thoughts about Jonas Brothers and about the songs we talked about in, um, in our wall Music with Bob community um, chart. And I'll see you guys in the next ones. Goodbye.